Ancient Secrets Lurking, 5 Mysterious Cases We May Never Decode The Circleville Letters, 1977 The saga commenced in the summer of 1977 when an inhabitant of Circleville, Ohio, received an anonymous letter with peculiar, hastily scrawled handwriting. Upon opening it, she learned that an unidentified observer had been monitoring her residence, particularly noting her children. The unsettling letter also divulged a closely guarded secret, her extramarital affair with the local school superintendent. Filled with alarm, the woman rightfully experienced a sense of fear, realizing someone was clandestinely watching her family. However, matters would swiftly escalate. A few weeks later, the mysterious correspondent sent another letter to the woman's husband, unveiling the affair and provocatively urging him to murder both his wife and the implicated school official. After a fortnight of inaction, the letter writer dispatched yet another anonymous missive to the husband, goading him to take decisive measures. Fueled by rage, the husband, convinced he knew the identity of the letter writer, armed himself and hastily embarked on a mission to confront them. Tragically, he met his demise in a fatal solo car accident during the fervent drive. Despite his death, the letters persisted for years. Astonishingly, they extended beyond the initial recipient, reaching numerous Circleville residents for nearly two decades. The letters contained intimate personal details about the recipients, leaving them baffled about how this mysterious figure acquired such information. Additionally, the missives featured audacious allegations and specific threats of violence, prompting law enforcement involvement. Regrettably, the authorities were unable to unravel the enigma, leaving the identity of the letter writer and the motives behind turning Circleville upside down as an enduring, unresolved mystery. The Lead Masks Case, 1966 On August 20th, 1966, a young boy flying a kite in the rugged hills outside Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, stumbled upon a chilling discovery, the lifeless bodies of two men. Unable to navigate the treacherous terrain, authorities couldn't access the hill until the following day. When they finally reached the scene, a perplexing tableau unfolded. The deceased men lay side by side, each clad in formal suits, waterproof coats, and lead eye masks, an odd choice for the remote hill setting that left investigators confounded. Amidst the eerie scene, an empty water bottle and a packet containing two wet towels were discovered. Adding to the mystery, a small notebook contained timed instructions in Portuguese, roughly translated to English as 1630B at the specified location. 1830 ingest capsules, after the effect protect metals await signal mask. The instructions deepened the investigators' unease. The two men were later identified as Brazilian electronic technicians, Manuel Pereira de Cruz and Miguel Jose Viana, last seen by their families three days prior to the grim discovery. However, attempts to glean answers from a coroner's report were thwarted by a backlog at the Rio de Janeiro coroner's office, delaying autopsies for days. By the time examinations began, the bodies had decomposed too severely for conclusive findings regarding any substances ingested before their deaths. Consequently, the enigmatic circumstances surrounding the discovery of these bodies on the hillside remain an enduring and perplexing mystery. The Green Children of Woolpit, 1100s In the obscure depths of the 12th century, an inexplicable event unfolded in the small village of Woolpit in Suffolk, England. Two young siblings, seemingly materializing out of nowhere, captured the villagers' attention. Brother and sister, their ages and physical resemblance affirmed their relationship, yet their peculiarities baffled the residents. Communicating in an unintelligible language, the duo exhibited an eerie green tint to their skin, an unsettling feature that heightened the mystique surrounding their origin. Strangely, they exclusively consumed raw broad beans, and their entrance into the village occurred unnoticed, shrouded in enigma. Despite the villagers' efforts to integrate the siblings into their community, the boys succumbed to illness shortly after their arrival. The girl, however, gradually regained her health, eventually shedding the green hue from her skin. Through time, she was baptized and learned to speak English. According to the legend, upon acquiring the language, she shared a surreal account of her homeland, a place perpetually under twilight, where the sun never shone, and everything was cloaked in green. 
Allegedly, she referred to this mysterious land as St. Martin's Land. The story, though intriguing, faces inherent skepticism due to its occurrence almost a millennium ago, with limited access to reliable information beyond historical reports. The uncertainty extends to the specific time frame, with historians suggesting it transpired during King Stephen's reign, 1135 to 1154, but lacking definitive confirmation. Consequently, the true narrative behind the Green Children of Woolpit remains veiled in historical ambiguity, leaving us with a tantalizing yet elusive and unsettling tale. The Mary Celeste, 1872 on December 4, 1872, in the expanse of the Atlantic Ocean near the Azores, several hundred miles west of Portugal, the Mary Celeste was discovered by travelers. This Canadian-built ship, registered under an American merchant brigantine firm, had set sail with valuable cargo destined for Europe. The vessel, laden with a substantial load of alcohol, was en route from New York City to Genoa, Italy, where it intended to unload its precious provisions. However, upon the Mary Celeste's encounter with the Canadian brigantine de Grazia off the Azores about a month later, an eerie and perplexing scene unfolded. The de Grazia crew found the Mary Celeste devoid of any human activity. The alcohol stocks and crew provisions remained intact, indicating no signs of distress or starvation. Strangely, the personal belongings of the crew were undisturbed, yet every crew member was mysteriously absent, leaving the ship eerily deserted. The ship's log provided no additional clues, as its last entry dated back 10 days. Remarkably, the Mary Celeste was still seaworthy and afloat, under partial sail when discovered. Notably, its lifeboat was missing, but with no other signs of damage from a storm or other mishap, the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the crew remained enigmatic. The crew members, who had embarked from New York for this fateful journey, were never heard from again, leaving historians and investigators with an enduring mystery. Theories ranging from mutiny and piracy to an insurance scam by the ship's owners persist, but the true events that transpired on the Mary Celeste may forever elude our understanding. Potomsky Crater, 1949 in 1949, Russian geologist Vadim Kalpakov stumbled upon a colossal and perplexing crater in the remote southeastern Siberian region near Lake Baikal. Dubbed the Potomsky Crater, this rock formation stands as a mysterious anomaly, leaving geologists and scientists baffled regarding its origin. The crater, a vast mound comprised of shattered limestone blocks, graces the slopes of Russia's Patam Highlands in the Irkutsk region. At its base, the crater spans a diameter of about 520 feet, 158.5 meters, with offshoots exceeding 40 feet, 12 meters, in height. At its center lies a cone with a ring-shaped crown, nearly as tall as the crater's outer walls. This enigmatic formation boasts impressive dimensions, with an estimated inside volume surpassing 8 million cubic feet, 226,534 cubic meters, and a weight approximating 1 million tons. Despite its sheer size and stark incongruity with the surrounding landscape, its origin remains elusive. Various theories attempt to explain its existence, with the prevailing one proposing a meteorite impact. Alternatives suggest volcanic activity or an unusual natural gas flow beneath the Earth's surface. Some vocal theorists even speculate that the Potomsky Crater may be a fragment from the same meteorite that struck nearby Tunguska in the early 20th century. However, the determined age of the crater contradicts this notion, aligning with an approximate age of 300 years, not the roughly 40 years since Tunguska. Regardless of the proposed theories, the event that led to the formation of the Potomsky Crater remains an enduring mystery. Scientists continue their observations in hopes of unraveling its secrets, yet, as of now, the origin of this massive geological oddity remains unknown. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video and want more exciting content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned for future videos, and I can't wait to have you as part of our community. Until next time, take care and keep exploring.